The continuing fight between good and evil. Hello, fellow bookwesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookwester. Today, I'm going to read you this awesome book. A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Liangle. Now a major motion picture from Walt Disney Studios and a Newberry Medal winner. Let's get right on to it. First of all, A Wrinkle in Time is one of the most new and like fresh books of fantasy that has something that no other book has. You see, they say, you see, the, the three celestial beings, Mrs. Watson, Mrs. Who, and, Mi and the other, other celestial being, those three beings said that they will, uh, they are able to wrinkle, to get that place closer, the place where they want to go closer. Let me put this down for a moment. If you see, this, uh, this knuckle right here is is where they start, and this knuckle right here is where they want to go. It's like this. But when Mrs. Who and the celestial beings, Mrs. Who, Mrs. Watson, and the other celestial beings move, they wrinkle it. Like so. So that the knuckle and knuckle, the one location and one location, will meet with each other so they can move much faster. And, and that is incredible because I've never thought of travel that way. I thought of opening wormholes, moving in light speed, high, hyperspace, and Star Wars, but I have never thought of a wrinkling reality itself. I think that it's one of the most memorable traits of this book. And if we go into the book itself, the main character is Meg, who is an oddball and a moron. She is very good at math. But at school, she looks like she's really, really bad. And she looks like a moron who does, doesn't does even know how to do a little bit of math. But actually, at home, she is extremely good at math. And only only that, she was only, only good at math. And all the, her other subjects suck. And our dear Meg's little brother, she, he, is brilliant and people think he doesn't even know how to read or speak but they are very wrong for our dear little brother of Meg is even smarter and has magic inside of them magic that can be used to save the world and since the Wrink of Wrinkle in Time is becoming a movie this book has pictures of the movie characters it's a storm raid as Meg Murray, and it's kind of realistic, right? The way, by the way, just what you would think. Doctor Murray looking for a way out. Doctor Murray, who had been missing, missing for quite a long time, and this whole book is about rescuing Doctor Murray, and then in turn rescuing the little brother who got captured in the process. The three celestial beings. Are Mrs. Mrs. What's it? Mrs. Who and Mrs. Witch. And if you go this way, Meg and Calvin were also one of the main characters in the thick of their adventure. And Meg, well, more images, and then, and then it shows a thoughtful-looking Charles Wallace Murray, who is the little brother of our dear Meg. Charles, Meg, and Calvin go on an intergalactic adventure to four galaxies using wrinkling and moving through space and time. And together they must defeat the evil, the darkness, the darkness that is swallowing planet after planet, including their own planet. Could they manage to defeat the evil? And could they win in the ultimate fight between the stars and the evil? Only time could tell. This is a great book with incredible crea creativity. By the way, I have actually never thought about wrinkling to move from place to place. And 
it's a really great book and makes you think what really is reality and how does space and time work. And like always, your book quester or end of book quester.